of the races to watch will be for Chittenden County's top prosecutor. Incumbent state's attorney Sarah George is facing a serious challenge from fellow Democrat Ted Kennedy, as well as facing questions from the Burlington Police Union about her track record. Local 22 Sam Israel spoke with George and Kenny about what's at stake. He joins us live from the state's attorney's office in Burlington. Sam. Well, Mike, the Burlington Police Association did endorse Ted Kenny in this race. And just a couple of days ago, this association did put out a Facebook post that has criticized Sarah George and alleging that she has let some prosecution cases involving vehicle thef thefts as long, along with shooting incidents go. Um, when, I asked Sarah, when I asked Sarah George, she said that that is uh, misleading. We have relationships with these officers and instead of coming to us with these complaints, they write these statements, these critical statements, and put them out on Facebook um, and expect that that's somehow going to lead to better results. The statement by the Burlington Police Union, I thought, was a pretty good indicator that there is a fractured relationship between the state's attorney's office and law enforcement. In a letter, the Burlington Police Officer Association taking aim at state's attorney Sarah George. Part of the letter says, quote, the disastrous effects of George's non-prosecution of serious cases cannot be ignored any longer. George says the letter doesn't tell the full story. She says the pandemic has held up thousands of cases. But we are still in a judicial emergency until August 31st, so we haven't had an ability to have significant amounts of trials, especially on nonviolent cases. We haven't had the ability to prosecute as many cases as typical. And that's never mentioned because that doesn't fit their narrative. She adds courts have limited them to just 10 arraignments a week. We are prioritizing violent offenses, and that does leave a large amount of lower level misdemeanor or felony, but nonviolent cases that are just sitting um, and nothing is happening with them. She says restorative justice reduces court hearings that can last for years. Kenny agrees that the pandemic is a challenge, but he believes conditions of releases can help. There are public safety conditions of release that can be requested by the state's attorney. The judge is ultimately the one that puts these things into place, but judges don't give you something you don't ask for. And far too often, the current state's attorney is not asking for public safety conditions of release. Now, so far in this race, Ted Kenny has received multiple endorsements, including from state attorneys in Franklin and Grand Isle County, along with the Vermont Troopers Association. Now, for Sarah George, she has received some endorsements from state legislators, which include Keisha Rahm Hinsdale, just Keisha Rahm Hinsdale, and she's also received endorsements from the Ben & Jerry's co-founder, along with Jane Sanders, the wife of Bernie Sanders. Live from Burlington, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.